So you see, you've got a question on the basis of the basic definition of zeros of a polynomial. The leading coefficient over here is one. So therefore, nothing is multiplied with the polynomial. You can see only one is there. Now the actual form of the polynomial is also given to us. So we just have to find p of two. So you see, 12 minus 12 will get cancelled out. So basically, five is the answer. So you see, you've got a question on the basis of the basic definition of zeros of a polynomial. So over here, you see, you've been given with this cubic polynomial and p of a is equal to p of b is equal to p of c is equal to zero. And you have to find the value of two minus a, two minus b, two minus c. So if you will try to use this given condition in this question, it will waste your time. If you will put suppose a in the polynomial, then b in the polynomial, then c in the polynomial, it will waste your time, right? Instead of that, you see, if p of a is equal to p of b is equal to p of c is equal to zero is given, what does it mean? That a, b and c are the zeros of this polynomial. And can we not say that we can write this cubic polynomial like this, x minus a, x minus b, x minus c over here. And also you see the leading coefficient over here is one. So therefore nothing is multiplied with the polynomial. You can say only one is there. No other real number is there. So you can say that the polynomial P of X can be exactly written like this. I hope it is clear. So this is nothing but equal to P of X only. Now you see, we have to find the value of two minus A, two minus B, two minus C. So what does it mean? Can I put x is equal to 2 over here? So p of 2 and that is equal to, in place of x you can put 2. So 2 of a, uh, 2 minus a, 2 minus b and 2 minus c will come. So what does it mean? That the value of 2 minus a, 2 minus b into 2 minus c is nothing but equal to p of 2 only. Now the actual form of the polynomial is also given to us. So we just have to find p of 2. It means in place of x in this polynomial, you can put 2. So let us do that. So it is 2 cube minus 3 into 2 square plus 2 into 2 plus 5. Now you can simplify this, you'll get the answer. This is 8 minus 12 plus 4 plus 5. So you see this will give you what? So you see 12 minus 12 will get cancelled out. So basically 5 is the answer. I hope the question is clear to you.